I was watching the boys uh, on Kino Casino last night. I like that show. I think uh, Ashton and Andy Worski do a good job. I think they do an entertaining show. PPP fucking hates me. He, he thinks that I am a, a, an unrepentant... Um, it, 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 what, what, what's the word? Degenerate piece of shit. Now, I will say this. I am a repentant degenerate piece of shit. In this whole, like, in this whole storyline that I've been, that, that I was in, and I guess still am in until, uh, I guess, their case is figured out, but, um, and until I completely untie myself from the whole thing. As you'll hear in today's story, I've still got some tendrils that are tangled up with that group. And every time those tendrils show themselves, I just whoosh, hack them off. But, um, uh, PPP thinks I'm an unrepentant degenerate piece of shit. I am a repentant degenerate piece of shit, and I'm getting better every day. I'm doing fantastic. Uh, as a matter of fact, today was a, or yesterday was a great day. And I've also realized that the more I kind of recover from the trauma and shit that I put my own self through, uh, that I remember more. You know, just like silly anecdotes, nothing like actionable or anything like that. Just like silly memories and anecdotes and stuff, and I'll tell them, and they're whatever. I know that me wondering about the dog out loud has people wondering about the family dog over there. Uh, it was just never mentioned in the police uh, police report. That's all. So I kind of I was like, well, what the? Fuck? Where's the dog? The dog lived in the bathroom. Where's the bathroom dog? Nowhere to be found. No mention of it. I hope the dog's okay. And people kind of ran with that one, and I saw that Andy and PPP ran with that one. PPP seems upset, and he kind of let the mask slip a little bit. I, I like Ashton, but I think he tries too hard to be holier than thou. He kind of conceives himself to be without sin, and I think that can be kind of grating. And he's he kind of let the mask slip yesterday. I think he's partially upset because he thinks I held back on them when I was on their show. I really didn't. I mean, I, I told them, every, I mean, first of all, I gave them great numbers. I gave them a big audience. I gave them a lot of results and I gave them really good content by telling my story. But he needs to understand that sometimes over time, as you come out of these things, you remember shit or stuff that you didn't think was important before people are now talking about. So you're like, all right, I thought this was boring. I thought this was stupid and a nothing thing. Out with it. And he's like, he didn't say that on our show, buddy. And you're just like, yeah, I mean, we didn't have 19 hours. I certainly didn't to go over the whole fucking thing. So he seemed a little upset about that. He's also one of these poor, unfortunate souls who thinks that I'm like trying to like create a, a hero mantra around myself. I don't know how many times for these fucking people I can say, this was shit. this was a bad deal, this is part of my working through it, I talk about my life to my audience, so on and so forth. I don't know how that keeps getting lost for these fucking people, but I can't hold their hand through it the whole time. Uh, but we look, we got a lot of stuff to talk about today. I like the Kino Casino guys. I talked to Andy Worski yesterday. Look, they're entertainers doing a show. Just like all of us. They're trying to entertain their audience. So I say, all's fair. And like, as far as picking on me goes, as far as picking on me goes, that's part of the deal. I came out and talked about this stuff. I put myself out there for criticism. It's totally fair. What, um, in fact, a lot of PPP's assessments of the situation, I wholeheartedly agree with. But uh, I, yeah, I didn't come out with this going, oh yeah, I'm going to be the good guy. I came out with some nasty. My whole thing was, like I said, I just wanted somebody to take responsibility. And if nobody else is going to take, well, even if nobody else is going to take responsibility, you should take responsibility for your actions. That's what I did. That's, I, I didn't do it because I thought, ooh, people are going to like me. I did it because A, wanted to, you know, bear witness, as it were. And number two, I thought my my audience has always been entertained by my life, and this is a crazy f***ing part of my life, and they're interested in it. Uh, Red Honda with two bucks says, who does Gordy belong to, and where is he at? 
uh, we've been showing Gordy on the show all the time lately. Yeah, Gordy's here. Gordy sleeps in the morning. Gordy gets up when I get up, and he goes outside. Then he jumps back in the bed. That's another win for the toe. That's another win for the toe, my friends.